A magical moment for Mercedes-Benz came about in 1951. The unveiling of an automobile that wrote history. Type 300, internally W186, was the biggest and fastest series produced German car of its time. A refined sedan car of distinguished class, it quickly became the preferred vehicle of famous German statesmen. Outstanding personalities, like Federal Minister Ludwig Erhardt, sat in its comfortable back seat. However, the myth revolving around the 300 goes back to the man who shaped the young Federal Republic like no one else, Konrad Adenauer. The first German Chancellor just could not do without it, and even traveled abroad in his official car. No wonder the 300 is commonly known today as Adenauer Mercedes. Just like Type 220, the 300 was run by a six-cylinder engine with an overhead camshaft. The first version produced an output of 115 horsepower and reached what was then a stunning top speed of 160 kilometers per hour. The chassis frame design resembled those of types 170S and 220, but was adapted to suit the higher weight and striking performance of the 300. When heavy loads were carried, auxiliary torsion bars could be switched into action in the rear suspension to level the wheels, a completely novel feature of the Adenauer Mercedes, which was also available with a sunroof. Another option, the Cabriolet D with five or six seats. The first substantial improvements were carried out in 1954. The output of the new version, internally dubbed 300B, was raised to 125 horsepower. Brake shoes were enhanced and brake boosters added. What made the 300B distinguishable were front ventipanes chrome fittings on the rear fenders, and overriders on both sides. A new modified Type 300 was released in 1955. The new version, internally called 300C, was discernible by its broadened rear window and the bigger tires. It was also provided with a single joint swing axle. As an extra, Mercedes-Benz offered an automatic transmission for the first time. In the summer of 1957, another thoroughly revised version was introduced. Technically and stylistically, the new 300 clearly differed from its predecessor. Its design designation, W189, separated the internally named 300D into an independent model range. The fuel in the engine was not atomized by a carburetor, but by direct fuel injection, which propelled the output of the 300D to 160 horsepower. By request, the new Adenauer Mercedes was available with servo steering and starting from December 1958, even with air conditioning. Incidentally, for the first time in a Mercedes-Benz passenger car. First and foremost, the body was modernized, which became apparent with the broadened window areas. The range was complemented again with a Cabriolet D, with an added sum of 8,500 marks, another exclusive variation with an impressive appearance up to this day. Der Gewinner ist jeder Käufer eines Mercedes-Benz Wagens, denn die gewonnenen Erfahrungen kommen ihm in allen Fahrzeugen, die den Mercedes-Benz Stern tragen, zugute. Sie werden ehrlich überrascht sein und ebenso ausgeruht in die Konferenz kommen wie diese beiden Herren.